Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at the 2018 PJ Merchandise Show in Orlando. We're with Titleist this morning. I'm with Michael Bradley. Michael, good to see you. Good to see you again, yeah. We are going to talk Scotty Cameron putters. Yep. You're obviously the head of marketing for Scotty Cameron. Select has been just an iconic franchise for Scotty Cameron, Titleist. We've got brand new Select. Exquisite as always, but I know there's been some changes made to help improve performance. Tell us a little bit about the new putters. Absolutely. So um, Scotty really got the select line to a, a real peak level in the 2016 line, and uh, he's refined it even further for 2018. So he's focused those refinements around three areas of sight, sound, and soul. Um, so sight. We talk a lot about you know the amazing finishing work and, and actually the hand finishing that goes into every Scotty Cameron putter. You can see he's done a beautiful job with you know the milling and the brushing and the cherry dots and, and you know new Matador midsize grip this time around. But there's some significant performance features as well. So he's thinned out the top lines across the whole line by beveling the top lines so they look thinner at address. Um, that was some feedback that came from the tour. So kind of tour driven feedback there, thinner top lines. Uh, he's cleaned up the plumbing necks. So take the Newport 2 for instance, our, our sort of most iconic, uh, very, very popular uh, heel and toe weighted blade. Uh, you get a really clear view of the leading edge from toe to heel now, um, which is something tour players particularly really like to align to. Clean, single milled sight lines across the whole line. Um, not only is that preferred on tour, but in the case of our mid mallets, fast back and square back, that now allows us uh, to put more vibration dampening material between the face sole part and the body of the putter um, because we've removed the, if you remember the prior line, we had kind of that plus pop through there, which was a great alignment aid, but uh, it reduced the surface area for vibration dampening. So a lot of great visual changes, subtle milling refinements, um, and things to really inspire confidence at address around sight. Sound, 30% more vibration dampening material across the whole line. So to recap, um, the vibration dampening material goes between our multi-material face inlays and the putter bodies. So if it's a blade, we've got a 303 stainless steel inlay and a 303 putter body with that vibration dampening material in between to tune that soft sound. Mid mallets, Scotty moves to aircraft aluminum, lighter metal, it lets him move weight around and increase MOI somewhat, still has that vibration dampening material holding those two parts together. So this time around, he's increased the vibration dampening material to get us even softer sound and feel. Uh, he's put vibration dampening under the soles of the mid mallet, so huge improvement there. Um, but the key with a Scotty Cameron putter is soft feel, but you still maintain your feedback. One of the key philosophies of a Scotty putter is that he wants you to be able to feel your mishits and diagnose them um, so that you can you know, adjust during the round. He believes if you get too soft, you lose all that feel, you lose distance control, and it can actually work against you. So it's a fine line, but he's really struck it perfectly. And finally, soul. This is really cool, and Scotty himself says he doesn't know why he didn't do this 10 years ago, um, but it's something that Scotty's uniquely doing. Uh, and it's in the 2018 putter line. So traditionally, you would design a putter head and balance that putter head and the sole kind of based on the putter head and the design process. But then you add a shaft and a grip, it's about 100 grams of weight at one shaft offset. That's gonna create a little bit of a lean um, that to particularly some of the better players on tour can look, uh, you know, can appear slightly closed at a dress. So in putter design, Scotty will tell you, you know, a touch open, okay, square, perfect. Um, but clothes, not good. So what he's done is he's shifted material and kind of reshaped these. He's shifted the balance point towards the face so that actually the putter now balances perfectly, taking into consideration that weight of the grip and shaft at one shaft offset. So the, the real simple explanation of that is the putter's gonna balance better, square up better, align better, and you're gonna make more putts. Yeah, and you said the tour feedback you've gotten is that it's really made it easier for players to feel like they're getting lined up correctly. Absolutely, alignment is huge, and uh, Scotty's always pushing himself to, to just make a better and better putter design, and uh, he's really done it in 2018. Yeah, and for people who maybe aren't familiar with Select, as you mentioned, mostly gonna be blades and mid mallets, yep. toe hang, yep. really gonna work well for 
players with arcing type strokes. Absolutely, high toe flow, uh, you know, real, uh, you know, swinging gait kind of uh, stroke tendency there. Um, but our fastback and square back, um, dial that back a little bit, get into a little bit more of a forgiveness range. Um, fastback being sort of the uh, mid mallet uh, companion to the Newport and square back being the mid mallet companion to the Newport too. So if you like those models, but want a little more forgiveness, uh, fastback and Squareback are great options to look at. Michael, outstanding information. We appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, thank you. All right.